Hello, welcome back to the Make So channel where we go through projects and, and branding that we do here in the shop here in Singapore and like to share them with you. If that's something that you're interested in, please hit the like and subscribe and stay tuned for more projects and demos. But today we are doing a, another t-shirt project and I'm in selfie mode because I'm gonna show you the shirts we're doing right here, right now, as soon as I can turn the camera. So I couldn't turn the camera around in mid shot, so I needed to cut. But here we are, we're, we did a group of 10 shirts for a project for a customer, and we wanted to share them with you because we used a variety of uh, layering techniques. So this is the front of the shirt, where we use our regular layering technique, because these are pretty thick letters and they sit kind of nice. But we were, but and this is the back of the shirt, and we were a little concerned about these thin layer, letterings here. So we did what's called a reverse knockout. We kind of call it a reverse knockout because normally the knockout is done where you take, uh, so you want all the HTV to be stuck to the shirt itself, which this is. Um, but normally you would have, you would cut out a line around the black and it would be some of the white showing. The client didn't want that. So we had to devise a way to make the lines perfect without any of the white peeking through, but still having the black touch the shirt and the, the, the pink fully on the shirt without them directly overlaying each other. And that's what we did. And we're gonna show you how we did it coming up next. So stay tuned. Okay, hello, welcome back to the overhead view. Um, as we said in the beginning, we're going to do this nice shirt and we're going to showcase a reverse knockout for you today. Um, just a quick disclaimer, if you hear a lot of uh, buzzing or noises in the background, our new shop is actually over top a uh, auto shop, so there it's auto repair time, so you might hear a little noise in the background, please excuse that. But so today I'm gonna to go ahead and get right into it and introduce you to the tools that we're gonna use. And of course, first we're gonna use the uh, cotton Gildan shirt. We're gonna center our graphic with our um, Easy T Maximus. This is our create kind of um, designer series that you can find on our Etsy shop. And we're gonna use that to center our graphic. We'll be using our cool touch cooling block to cool down the HTV. And of course we'll be using Sizer Vinyl and our Cricut Easy Press, which is going to be set to 150 degrees Celsius, which is about 300 degrees Fahrenheit um, for 15 seconds. And so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get our shirt nice and press out here, get any of the moisture out and get it warmed up in a flat surface and then cool it down very quickly with our cool touch. I just was recently watching a uh, video put out by Sizer um, about people overheating their vinyl. Um, they really recommend against it. I recommend it against it too. A lot of people think more heat, more time, more pressure, better outcome. That is totally untrue. You can cook your, your vinyl burning off the uh, the uh the glue and of course we all know it totally shrinks sorry about that it totally shrinks the um the vinyl as well so you want to make sure that you're not overcooking your vinyl and you're also using your cool touch to cool down your surface to minimize the heat that your vinyl takes so with that said we're going to get right into lining up our shirt here now these shirts are going to be for a group of girls who are getting together there's 10 of them, they're all the same size, and they're going for a night out. So it's imperative or extremely important that each one of these logos or each one of the graphics ends up in the same place because everybody's going to be standing next to each other and these pictures are going to be immortalized forever. So for the, the people who say, I like to eyeball it, this definitely would not be a time to eyeball anything. You wanna get these graphics exactly in the same place. And I will be doing 10 shirts at a time. So the sturdy and, and thickness of a real t-shirt guy is really important. I saw some one the other day where somebody had one, it was like super, it was like a piece of paper and they were, they were using it and they were actually advertising that and I was just like, oh, come on, guy, get a, get some real tools there. But this is why I cannot stress more when you're doing 
um, work for people, you wanna make sure you get proper tools to do it. Don't, don't cut corners, don't go cheap. Um, get the proper tools that you need. So I line up the shirt by putting it around the collar. I also use our dot system. We're the only people to have, have this dot system. And I use my dot system to make sure that my shoulders are hitting at the exact same dot on each side. That makes sure any yaw, if you will, is that is dead center on any yaw. So once I've got that, I know I've got the placement on the shirt exactly where I want to. I'm gonna drop this down to where it hits about the two mark the two inch mark here. And then I'm gonna watch where I'm at to make sure that it hits at the same exact point every single time. Since this is the first one, I'm gonna just lay it out there, take a good look at it, kind of like where it's at. Using the three finger rule, it looks good by the three finger rule. I say that's where I'm gonna actually put my front graphic every time. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with this. Now the layering that we're gonna do on the front graphic is a traditional layering because most of the, because there's words that go here and here, but most of the words go off and they're on the actual t-shirt itself. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a traditional lay, layering with that. And we're gonna go ahead and just tack this down, getting as little heat as possible. I use about a three to five second press, not too much pressure, down and then a hot peel to take it right off. And then we're gonna take the hot peel and pull it right off of there. And it's just tacked down to the shirt at this point. And then we'll go ahead and stick on our next layer. Okay, we're gonna layer on the front layer letters first. And I know from the design, kinda of exactly where it goes, where the E goes over top of the of and the O in crop top goes right underneath the of. Now we did traditional layering on uh, the letters because they're mostly off the HTV with just a couple letters on the HTV. So we didn't do the reverse, um, what do you call that? Re the reverse knockout on the letters because uh, a lot of them are still gripped to the shirt. So we're just going with a traditional layering on the letters. And we will do a tack press and pull that off quickly. And so now with the traditional press, um, we're gonna go ahead and do a seal and a full pressing of the shirt all together. So everything shrinks all together at once in one pressing. And so this is a full 15 second press as we do here. And then we're gonna quickly cool down the HTV and then we'll flip it over and do the other side where we're gonna show you our, what we call the reverse knockout press. So that's with no carrier sheet on. So there'll be no carrier lines and to the, to the vinyl. And we're getting it nice and pushed into the fibers of the shirt. And we'll pull that off for you. And that looks perfect and great from there. And we're ready to flip it over and do the other side. And straighten the shirt. Okay, and so now that we got the, the front of the shirt done, we're gonna work on the back of the shirt. And again, we're gonna bring back our um, Easy T Maximus here, do the same thing, lining it up with the dots, get it straight from there. And then where we want this, uh, we're gonna put on our black. And you know, before I do this, I wanna show you exactly how I'm gonna do it. So traditionally with the overlay, you would lay this down. This would be all pink or all filled in and you would just lay this on the top. And then, and if you do it that way, all the black would be sitting completely on another layer of vinyl. You can actually do that. I've done that a lot. It is a risk to the shirt, um, but it does work if you do it properly. What we're doing to have no risk to the shirt is we want all layers of vinyl to be in contact with the shirt. So we're gonna put down the black and then we're gonna line up our pink to actually overlay onto the black to fully cover it. 
And so how we did it to get it to work is that the black is a little bit bigger than the pink. So a little bit of the pink is actually gonna be on top of the black, but all the black is on the shirt and most of the pink will be on the shirt and only a tiny slither of the pink that goes around the lines won't be on the shirt, which is basically what we're calling a reverse knockout. So the key for this now is to get the first layer on, the black one exactly where we want. So again, we'll take our Easy T um, Maximus here, we'll line it up, we'll work on our dots there, and then we're gonna take it, and I, where we want it, I'm going to actually, the big graphic, I'm gonna lay on there to see where it goes, and it fits around there and there, I think that's a good space for it, right at the two, which is going to put, and I could see through it, and I could see it puts the K right, right above the arrow stair. And that's pretty much my center, the tip of the K, so I can see what's going on. So from there, I could take my black and put the black back where that tip of the K was, where I wanted it, and this is gonna set the motion. So I wanna be very careful, know exactly where I'm putting it here. And I see it in the center, in the middle of the K, the two is peeking up there, and that's gonna be my spot. So I get that down and take that out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tack this down with a tack press, as we said before. Um, go ahead, take the easy press, hit it down for about two, three seconds, press, let go and quickly hot peel. From here, I'm worried about the line works on the outside, so I'm gonna quickly come back and I'm gonna cool this down. I don't want any shrinkage to this at all, so I wanna to try to take away any shrinkage because the lines around the outside to do this knockout overlap, and that's what's gonna make this clean and neat, and I wanna make sure that I keep them at the same size until I'm ready to full press this down. So I'm gonna have to get my head a little bit in the way here. I apologize. And cause I wanna make sure all the black is nicely covered there. And as you can see, it covers it completely. I'm looking around my edges to make sure that none of the edges are peaking any white around here and it's not. And I'm actually gonna tack press the pink down now. So I take it. Tack press it for two to three seconds. Hot peel my pink off. Hot peel my carrier off, sorry. Hopefully the pink doesn't come off. <laughs> and there it is. And so now I don't need to cool it again this time, but because it's all set together and I'm gonna do a full press now to press that all entirely into the shirt. So we're gonna go with the full. 15 seconds at this point. And then once we're finished with the 15 second press here, we're gonna cool down the shirt as quick as we possibly can. While we're pressing into the shirt, so while it's hot and gooey, so, and activated, we're pressing into the shirt as well as cooling it down at the same time. So that glue is cooling and being pressed into the shirt all at once. We can pull it off from there and you can see that is the press of it there. So this is our reverse knockout. The black HTV going down on the shirt first and then the outlines coming around the outside of it. So in, in doing this, the black is fully pressed to the shirt and the pink is 99.9% .9 all pressed to the shirt, leaving you with a very stable graphic that's probably gonna last a very, very long time. I'm gonna take you back and walk you through the uh, close-ups real quick so you can see it really tighten up close. Okay, so this is the up close view. Looks uh, really good. Press down. There's no white sticking out. And that is the reverse knockout. So hope you like this. Uh, please like and subscribe and look for more videos like this in the future. Um, we're here at uh, the Make So 
YouTube channel, and we'll be doing more with other videos coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.